We've got another kind of performance for you that was really, really top, top, top notch. Acclaimed singer and songwriter Andrea Bucelli is using his powerful voice to spread a message of hope during this very challenging, difficult, painful time. Bocelli performed Amazing Grace and other spiritual songs yesterday in what he called an Easter prayer at the Duomo. That's the historic cathedral, of the Italian city of Milan. Let's listen. Italian tenor sang without an audience in accordance with the government regulations for social distancing. More than 26 million people worldwide have watched that performance on YouTube. That number is actually now close to 3.3.5 million. Andrea Bucelli joins us now from his home for an interview that you'll see only on CBS this morning. There he is, Andrea Bucelli. First, thank you, thank you, thank you. Hi, good morning. Good morning to everybody. And good morning. Thank We're you just for, this is good. this is You were just Hi. what we need. Oh, can you hear me? Can you hear me? Okay. I can hear you. Go go ahead. You were just what we needed on an Easter Sunday, Andrea. Just what we needed. Uh, well, I hope so because the the music can help a lot, I think. In my experience, I can say that music is very important for the for the soul. Yes, you said, Andrea, before you did the before you sang for us, you said this was not a concert that you were offering a prayer. What did you mean by that? You said you wanted to give the earth a big hug while we were going through this very difficult time, and we are returning the hug back to you. But what was your thinking about offering a prayer to us? Well, I, I said uh, when I received the, this invitation from the mayor of Milan, I said, okay, uh, I'm very happy to come and this, this singing will be not an exhibition, will be not a concert, but it will be only a prayer, because in this moment, uh, the, the only important thing is to pray in order uh, to resolve as soon as possible this incredible problem. Yeah, Italy has been very hard hit, as you know. I'm wondering how you are, how you and your family are dealing with that, and what are your thoughts about your country this morning? Well, uh, if you have to stay all the day in the house, the, the day really becomes very long. <laughs> but <clears throat> I try, yes. first of all, I try to speak with my sons. Um, uh -huh. I read, I play, I, I sing. <laughs> and uh, I try to have beautiful moments with my wife. So I leave my family. Yes. Yes. I think that's what we're all doing, Andre, and I'm wondering what it was like for you. It was really beautiful, number one, to see you walk out to the microphone to sing Amazing Grace. What was it like to you to sing with no mm -hmm. audience? How did that feel for you on the other side? Well, uh, uh, my, problem, my problem was not don't have the audience because when I when I sing at home I'm used to be to sing without the audience but uh, the situation was really strange because painful because you singing I thought to the people that yesterday would have been in the church and instead of they had to stay at home so suffering, many of many of them suffering. So my thoughts 
were for, for them. What advice do you have for people who are struggling during this time? You're so right that music is a very healing thing, but it's still a very painful time. What, are, what is your message of hope for people who are struggling? This is very difficult for all of us. Well, I, I think I am an, an optimist. And uh, the most important thing is don't lose the, the hope and to think to be convinced that very soon everything will be over. Mm -hmm. you, you, still feel, you still feel optimistic that it will be over soon? You feel that? Yes, absolutely. Do. All right, Andre Obuchelli, sending you a virtual hug. Thank you so much. You were perfection on an Easter Sunday. Thank you. Thank you very much. It's a pleasure. Thank you. Always good to see you, Andrea Buccelli, and you heard his translator with him talking to us from Milan.